It's Jared here on the podcast. The most uh, on my podcast, you would have heard one person more than anyone else. Do you know who that is, Maya? Me. That is you. Why is that? Because I'm your producer. <laughs> That's right. She's my amazing producer and sausage lady. So Maya is doing the Words in Winter this year. If you didn't know, Maya is probably the busiest person around the last three months. You turn into a bit of a fruit loop for three months. That's right. And then but next week you'll be back to cornflakes. So <laughs> <laughs> The Dalesford Podcast. Events, stories and people around the Hepburn Shire. Hello everyone, welcome to the podcast. Before we go back to Maya, I just want to mention this week at the Words in Winter Festival, I am holding a podcasting master course alongside with Anna from Shine Communications who knows everything about social media marketing. Go to the Words in Winter website, wordsinwinter.com and book our ticket. And this podcasting masterclass is for any businesses who want to start podcasting or anyone who's just got a hobby and just wants to podcast their passion because that's what I do with this podcast. I go out, I talk to people, I create great stories with audio that's what i love doing and i can teach you how to do that also i began working in radio 20 years ago making radio programs and a few years ago i shifted into podcasting and it's such a beautiful medium it's such a natural organic harmonious medium and i just want to share that with everyone out there all right let's get back to maya maya is one of my favorite people in the world and this was a fun little chat between us clearly you can probably hear let's start again maya and i just had a battery failure so we're going to start again you all right (laughs) You know this. All right, so I'm here with Maya Arell. Some people call her Maya. She won't tell us what... I've heard people say that before. Tell them not to. It's not my name. It's Maya. Like, co- your husband Maya. calls you Maya sometimes. Everybody tells me that. I don't hear it. <laughs> it's so, Australian for Maya. I don't know. Can you tell him not to call me that? I'll tell your husband not to call you Maya. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you've been doing the Words of Winter for four years. I remember when you started four years ago and you decided to take this on and we all kind of tried to chip in and get it sorted. And so this time of year, you're busy. How did you get hooked on to the Words in Winter. Why did you become the director of Words in Winter? Excellent question, Jared. A couple of months before Words in Winter, four years ago, and Jen Bray and Mark Dickinson, who had done it previous two years, were asking for someone to run it because it wasn't going to happen and it only had a two-month lead up. And they asked me if I'd do it. And I thought, oh, okay, that would be an interesting, intellectual, stimulating thing to do other than washing dishes and doing laundry and sausaging at the Sunday market. And what was wonderful was that there was a print shop in Dalesford at the time. Oh, yeah. Matt run by it. the slightly controversial Matt Fisher. <laughs> Love you, Matt. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> and Missy, I met Missy, yeah. and then I met you. Yeah. And I thought, oh, my God, I've got all this young, awesome energy, talent, and we can do this. It'll be great. Mm. And then everybody moved away. <laughs> <laughs> but that first year was really incredible. We were loaned a local shop front by Russ Jenkin, which was great to have that real estate on the Main Street, where no one can ever have real estate. And the theme that year was food for thought, and the community really rallied around that. So then I did it again because I enjoyed it, even though it was stressful and there's no money in it. It's nonprofit, it's just for the community. But it's such a rich community that we have so many interesting conversations and interesting people. That's the currency I get, which is the intellectual currency. Mm. Um, And I was able to get my friend Josh Bose to do, I mean, he. Oh, yeah, because he does all the artwork for it, yeah. That's right. So he was the first one that I asked. I said, can you do an image for us? And I said something like, can you make vegetables, books growing out of a vegetable garden? Something stupid. And he, of course, made a beautiful image, um, which it was three people sitting at a table and with plates and a fork and knife and they're writing on their plates. So it's a really magnificent image. And he has done images for us every year which has been a great collaboration and missy has done the graphic design every year oh kevin childs kevin so kevin Mm. the original gangster (laughs) kevin childs greatest journalist in the world he's the brains behind the operation i mean he and i together just chat and chat and expand on ideas and expand on ideas and expand and then start contracting and get wonderful results. Mm. There's like a kind of magic that happens when we talk about what we've read or what we're interested in or uh, putting all the ingredients together. We mix them up in a very non-linear way. And that seems to work really well for us. Um, the other thing I should say that I just thought of is that David Hall started Words in Winter with his yes. wife 17 years ago. And David's still a great force, gives me moral support when I need it, when everybody's 
getting me down. Do you know why David started it for? And- David had been to the Queenscliff Literary Festival with his wife, I believe, and loved it and just thought they'd bring something to Dallas for it. They had ret- he had retired from a very successful business career and made everything a gold coin donation for Woods and Winter, which we've changed. Um, we've made it. Not a gold coin donation. But some things are free. But we just want people to value it at least as much as they'd value buying a cup of coffee or two because that's the only way to sustain a festival. Everything's expensive. You have to pay for printing. You have to pay for all these different things. So we just want people to value it. Um, So you have – your accent's a bit different. (laughs) Where's that from? Tell us. You don't sound like you're from (laughs) Dalesman. Um, no, <laughs> I'm from Hollywood. From give me the history of Maya because most people would know you, but just give me a bit more history. That'd be nice. Okay, so I um, moved to Dallas for 13 years ago from the beaches of Santa Monica and came here for the coldest winter I'd ever had. But Zarin had been in the States with me for years and it was time for us to move back here. Melbourne was very expensive, so we ended up in beautiful Hepburn Springs. Um, But before that, I worked in film production for years, in book publishing for years in New York. Mm -hmm. I worked as an assistant agent at the William Morris Agency, did a lot of editing. Before that, I went to UCLA, where I majored in history and women's studies. And when I first moved here, I worked at the Chowder House, which was in Hepburn Springs, which everyone will remember really fondly. And I met everybody. You just meet everybody in town. All right, we're in the middle of the podcast. It's time to talk about the events. And this week, I've got a special guest. Who is it? Me. Yeah, you're still here. Because <laughs> this week's all about words in winter. So let's go through and tell me tell me a little bit about what's on and who we can see and where. Well, um, Friday night, look online. Uh, Saturday are large events that are not yet sold out, as many are. Would be Louise Milligan. You had a bit of controversial with Louise. Yeah, in controversial in conversation with Kevin Childs. <laughs> did you get it? Did, did um, I come back to Louise? I want to know what happened so, with the controversy. Right, but I'm just saying she's talking with Kevin. The controversy is just that on our Facebook page where we have the event, we have a lot of feedback on people's <laughs> personal feelings about Cardinal Pell and the fact that he's innocent. And is it a bit like Grapevine on a Friday night? Yes, people are getting a little bit live. And, oh, I get you. And... Um, it's weird. Maybe we could read some out. Do we have some? <laughs> no, we could read them out if we want. No, <laughs> no. no. Okay, we don't good, want to give that any okay. negative energy. All right, it's good. And we okay, have also another one that's a big event at the town hall Saturday at 1 is the Writers Victoria panel, where we'll have four writers sent from Writers Victoria. Writers Victoria turns 30 this year, and we're going to have a really interesting conversation about what it means to be a writer in Victoria today. Yeah, but you have to pay them to come down here, don't you? So we, do. we need we to encourage people to for come people along. to come. Yes, yeah, yeah. we are paying them. Mm. That would be great if we could make back what we're paying. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, words went to non-for-profit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, trying to stay out of the red. Um, so <laughs> Chloe Hooper in conversation will be after the Writers Vic panel, also at Town Hall Saturday. That's interesting because she's talking about the arsonist, uh, the Black Saturday. Is yes. That right? yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yes, that's right. That horrible Black Saturday. She's talking about the mind of the arsonist. It's going to be really... Oh, that's creepy. We're getting inside the minds of an arsonist. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And she'll be talking with a local Maureen Cooper who's a university teacher. Sorry, she's a high school teacher at uni high school. Okay. Um, oh, we've got the tattooist of Auschwitz author, Heather Morris, um, at Stone and Straw on That's... the way to Castlemaine. That's sort of a special event. You have to go online to buy the mm-hmm. tickets. That, that comes with Prosecco and canapes. And then Saturday afternoon, there's the Sprung Circus. We have workshops peppered throughout. If you check out the program online or if you pick one up in one of the zillions of places that I've dropped off giant places. I did too. I went around Ballarat yesterday. Oh, good man. Mm-hmm. Um, you can, but you can find these. All these are on the website also, wordsandwinter.com. Right. And you can find them around town. And you book everything online. Can you pay when you walk into the event? Is it If things aren't sold out, but we are encouraging people to book in advance because we have limited seating. Yep. The Dallasford Hotel is intimate with a fireplace and it's great, but it's not huge. Anything else that we need to mention? Um, Sunday is going to be a great wrap-up day, also with a mix of workshops and events in an event in Jan Doit, Arnold Zabel and Kate Kennedy in conversation at the Dallasford Hotel. Book for that because that's limited seating. Mm. Um, wonderful conversation at three at the back bar with Claire Coleman and Emily McCulloch Child. Kevin's daughter. Yes, and she's awesome. And then Petrus will finish up that day with an artist talk from Petrus Spronk and the Vini Holmgren Poetry Prize announcement also will be announcing, which I didn't get into the program 
the Typewriter Story Awards, which mm. the wonderful Jenny from Scrub Hill has organized. And I got mine in the paper a few years ago. You did? Do you remember? 500 words or less? Oh, I only did 100 words and it was, a, I can't remember, but I made it into the newspaper, my little story. I sort of remember you saying it was really hard to type. Yeah. Uh, who can type on a typewriter? I can't bloody type. Because you have to push really hard. You've got to like, <laughs> really push loudly, not like on a computer. I was just going to email it to you, but I couldn't. So, um. <laughs> <laughs> And so what else? This Sunday, there's also the Sunday market. And I've just got to mention, Alison uh, from the library wanted me to mention that the roller derby is on this Saturday at the Ark in Dalesford. Saturday and Sunday. Mm. Uh, it starts from nine and goes till six o'clock at and that's night. hosted by the Ballarat Roller Derby. Derby Club. Yeah, Google Roller Derby Club and then you can get into your derby gear and go. Have you seen it, actually? Have you been to it? I haven't, but the kids would love to go. It looks awesome. And last year, Clementine Ford came and she, I think, is a roller derby chick too. It's so pretty that's hardcore great. though, don't yeah, they? Isn't awesome. it like ice hockey where they just beat the shit out of I everyone? It's a, yeah, it's a full contact sport, so they're pretty great. Um, can I say one more thing? Yes, one more thing. Two more things? Yes. Sorry, you know I'm very long-winded. Mm. Um, couldn't do it without my... Host with the most, Zoran, for the weekend. Awards oh, your husband. There, hosting, yeah, yeah. As will wonderful volunteers. And at this very moment, Elle and Kath are at the Dalesford Town Hall setting up the trivia night. Mm. Um, who are they? Which is going to be tomorrow. They are my great friends mm. and locals in the town who are just volunteering to help out. So mm. it's going to be really great. Do you want to drop in Lorne and Juanita also? <gasps> Lorne and Juanita, masterminds every, yeah. behind the operation. Mm. They're like that movie, that show, the Maxwell Smart. Yes. And has the computer room. Have you been in the house then, clearly? <laughs> 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 Lorne and Juanita are, Juanita, they're the web, local web developers. Very, very good. So Amazing. And they've um, done it for the love of words in winter because mm. they came to the first one we did four years ago oh, yeah. loved it and then offered to help and so they've made the website so incredible yeah it's beautiful actually it's a beautiful website so thanks Lorne and Juanita um, anything else that we need to mention Maya? I think that's it. I really appreciate you giving me all this time on your podcast this week. The Sunday Market will be on, of course, at yep. the railway station. What well, other events can we think of? Um, I think that's it for this week. And you fall, you probably took most of the weekend with your words yeah. in winter. Yeah, sorry about that. And it uh, could be snow again, I heard. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks, Maya. Jared has his beanie off, so he's <laughs> going to be cold. <laughs> That doesn't come off too often. <laughs> All right, we'll see you on the weekend. And everyone, just remember to give Maya a big hug if you see her because she's broken. <laughs> or not. Turn away from me. Turn away, yeah. Thank you, Jared. There we go. Another podcast. Thanks for listening, everyone. Hey, just a quick one. The market's on this weekend. Saturday, you've got Creswick Market, Glen Lyon Market, Leonard's Hill Country Market, and the Trentham Farmers Market. Sunday, there's the Dalesford Market. And also this weekend, the Australian Ceramics Open Studio is on. Go to australianceramicscommunity.com or just drop by the Dalesford Information Centre for more information on that. Plus, it's Booktown on Sundays in Clunes. There's an author talk and reading with Peggy Frew on her new book, Islands, and that's at 2 p.m. Thanks for listening, everyone. Enjoy Words in Winter. It's such a lovely festival. If you see me around with a microphone, don't be shy. Say hello, and I'll talk to you then. Thanks. Bye.